So, back to Inther we go. Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just keep walking. The mages don't let us go in the cauldron. They said it's not safe in there. It's not safe in there. Colleges host the many bad things, including pessimism and uh, antagony. Oh, hi! Glad you could make it. Time for discussion. Hey, what did you need? You're a dark elf okay, with purple eyes. Caselmo? Hello. Is there something else? What did you need? Here you go. Here's the journal. I suppose it would be inappropriate of me to ask how you obtained this, so I simply won't. Yes. A rubbing, eh? I expected notes. Yeah, stuff happened. I understand. Now, let me take a good look at this. Over here, please. Okay. Serena, we're just going to let her do her thing, I guess. Him do his thing, rather. Hmm. This is intriguing, but highly disturbing. It appears that Gallus had suspicions about Mercer Frey's allegiance to the Guild for months. Gallus had begun to uncover what he calls an unduly lavish lifestyle replete with spending vast amounts of gold on personal pleasures. Oh. Does the journal say where this wealth came from? Yes, Gallus seems certain that Mercer had been removing funds from the guild's treasury without anyone's knowledge. Anything else, Enthe? Anything about the Nightingales? Mm. Yes, here it is. The last few pages seem to describe the failure of the Nightingales, although it doesn't go into great detail. Gallus also repeatedly mentions his strong belief that Mercer desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Shadows preserve us, so it's true. I, I'm not familiar with the Twilight Sepulchre. What is it? What's, what's Mercer Frey done? I'm sorry, Enther. I can't say. All that matters is we deliver your translation to the guild immediately. Farewell, Enther. Words can't express. It's all right, Carlia. You don't have to say a word. Oh, well, okay. So apparently, um, Mercer, like, peed in the Twilight Sepulchre or something. Listen, and that's bad. All I want is the truth to be revealed to the guild. They respected Car. If trying to rid yourself of stolen goods becomes a burden and you find yourself in Witterhold, visit me at the college. I've been known to handle items of questionable interest from time to time, and I'll see what I can do. So your offense. Thank God. That would be extremely handy for stealing things from the Mages Guild and immediately selling them. <laughs> anyway. Um... So I guess I'm done with you. If you have further need of me, you can find me in the college. So before Mercer can do any more damage to the guild. What about this Twilight Sepulchre thing? You've come this far, so I see no harm in concealing it any longer. The Twilight Sepulchre is the temple to Nocturnal. It's what the Nightingales are sworn to protect with their lives. So why does it require that kind of protection? Everything that represents Nocturnal's influence is contained within the walls of the Sepulchre. Now it seems Mercer's broken his oath with Nocturnal and defiled the very thing he swore to protect. These and temples, I am confused as fuck. I felt the same way when Gallus first revealed these things to me. I think given time you'll understand what I mean. I think I'd understand better if less mystery was actually involved. As a nightingale, I've been sworn to secrecy regarding the sepulchre. I know the guild doesn't do much to foster faith, but I'm going to have to ask that you continue to trust me. Works for me. I guess we'll just do it your way. I'll make for Riften and scout the situation. See if I can discover what Mercer's up to. When you're ready, meet me at the Ragged Flagon. In the meantime, I wanted you to have this. It belonged to Gallus, but given the circumstances, I think he'd approve. I'll put it to good use, whatever it is. If the guild isn't willing to listen to reason, you might have to. Nightingale blade. Huh. 
Is this a sword or is it a dagger? I hope to God it's a dagger. It's a dagger. Oh my God, it's a dagger. What does it do? Um, Zaptastic Glass Dagger does 10 points of shock damage, half as much magical damage, soul sucking. Eh. So I'm using that. That's freaking. 15 points of health and 15 points of stamina per second from the target. Oh! Alright. More than a social. So what we're gonna do... We're going to... That there. Uh, that's gonna be our new... Down to business, eh? Whew! Actually, that's a sword. <laughs> Sword, isn't it? Oh, that's really bad. Sword. Well, poopy. Of course, right now, actually, it doesn't matter. Does it? I don't have the dagger thing. Awesome! Yeah, I don't have the dagger thing right now, so I can just use the sword. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Awesome. Well, that's incredibly convenient. I'm regretting. Getting legendary sneak skill uh, a little bit more every second. All right then. Let's go to the Rafafagan, which is so happy. Of course, if Mercer is still alive, and he is, obviously, um, after he tried to kill me, wouldn't he still be kind of be pissed? I don't know, we'll see. Just have to see, or I guess. Oh, he took my freaking Ragafragon key. So we gotta go all the way back through the tunnels. Lame. That butthead. Stab him in the face. <sighs> Just go the hard way through the thing. It matters, but eh. Whatever. Items am I using? Apparel. I'm using all of the things except for skill armor. Right. Hello. I'm glad you're here. I think some of these people are beginning to suspect who I am. Are you ready to face the guild? What if Mercer's here? Then we show them Gallus's journal and hope for the best. Remember, we have proof and all he's got is his word. Okay. Keep your eyes open. I'm not sure what to expect when we enter the system. Or lie, I'm scared. I don't want to get shot in the face. But, uh, <laughs> Okay, after you. Jeez. I have the weird feeling that I'm just gonna get, like, shot. Second I walk through the door, they're gonna be like, Traitor! Yeah, look at this bullshit. That's what I thought. Okay, Carlisle, go. I'm just gonna hide behind you. You 
better have a damn good reason to be here with that murderer. Please, lower your weapon so we can speak. I have proof that you've all been misled. No tricks, Carlia, or I'll cut you down where you stand. Now what's this so-called proof you speak of? I have Gallus's journal. I think you'll find its contents disturbing. Let me see. No, it can't be. This can't be true. I've known Mercer too long. It's true, Brynjolf. Every word. Mercer's been stealing from the guild for years, right under your noses. There's only one way to find out if what the last says is true. Delvin, I'll need you to open the vault. Wait just a blessed moment, Bryn. What's in that book? What did he say? It says Mercer's been stealing from our vault for years. Gallus was looking into it before he was murdered. Hag and Mercer open up a vault that needs two keys. It's impossible. Could he pick his way in? That door has the best puzzle locks money can buy. There's no way it can be picked open. He didn't need to pick it. What's she on it, ma'am? Use your key on the vault, Delvin. We'll open it up and find out the truth. Use my key, but the vault's still locked up tighter than a drum. Now use yours. You guys don't have to describe it. You can just say, "Ah, oh, the block retire the two keys." Give me a second. It's gone. Everything's gone. Get in here, all of you. Well, not everything's gone. I mean, there's still this. I steal battle axe, steal mace, stuff. Jules. He's so good. That son of a bitch. I'll kill him. Vex, put it away. Right now. We can't afford to lose our heads. We need to calm down and focus. Do what he says, Vex. This ain't helping right there. Fine. You do it your way. For now. Delvin, Vex, watch the flagon. If you see Mercer, come tell me right away. Need some gold. Oh, I have some work for you. Oh, Delvin, Delvin, Delvin. Like quite a good bit of jobs available. Here. Uh, puzzle box. Well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, be sure to bring them to me. I promise it'll be worth the effort. It's worth quite a bit, actually. Quite a catch. There you go. It should make you smile. Woo! Can you train me in sneak skill? Since my, like my sneak skills like poop. Eh, it's not worth it. I can level it faster. I can blink. Okay. Look, before I help you track Mercer down, I need to know what you learned from Carlia. I mean, everything. Well, Dallas, Carlia, and Mercer were nightingales. What? Nightingales. But I always assumed they were just a tale, a way to keep the young footpaths in line. Was there anything else she told you? Uh, Carlyle was behind Golden Bone. Eh, I'll tell her from that last. I'm trying to make her look better. Mercer killed Gallus. I, I feared that was the case. From that last entry in Gallus's diary, it looks like he was getting close to exposing Mercer to the guild. Anything else? He, she was also behind the whole Golden Glow and Hunting Bird. Trying to make Mercer look bad in front of Maven, eh? Clever lass. Was there anything else? I think that's it. I have an important task for you. I need you to break into Mercer's home and search for anything that could tell us where he's gone. Okay. Aye. A gift from the Black Briars after they kicked a previous family out place called Rift Wheeled Manor. He never stays there, just pays for the upkeep on it. Hired some lout by the name of Bold to guard the place. Guess I'll take care of it. Be careful, lad. This is the last place in Skyrim I'd ever want to send you. Just find a way in, get the information and leave. And you have permission to kill anyone that stands in your way. Awesome. So what's missing from the vault? Better question would be, what did he leave? Mercer took everything. 
Even all of our plans are gone. Plans for what? Before Mercer took over, Gallus started collecting every bit of material he could on locations the guild could heist. Museums, keeps, estates, you name it. By the time Mercer took over the guild, we must have had a few dozen. So how could he have opened the vault door by himself? I don't have a clue. That door is impenetrable. Without two keys, it's impossible to open. I have a key, Delvin has a key, and Mercer has a key. That's it. There are no other copies. Hmm. So what's the best way into uh, Riftwell Manor? Good question. I've only set foot inside a few times myself, and that was in Mercer's company. If you can get past his trained watchdog, I think your best bet might be the ramp to the second floor balcony in his backyard. I don't suppose the ramp is easy to access. No. It's some sort of crazy contraption Mercer commissioned for quick escapes. I'd wager a well-placed shot at the ramp's mechanism would lure it in a hurry. Sounds about right. Um, tell me a little bit about his dog. Huh. That'd be bald. A real piece of work, that one. Mercer's holding something over his head, keeping him loyal. Talk to Vex. She used to know him very well, if you catch my meaning. They fuck like rabbits. Careful at Mercer's place. Got it. I don't want to lose anyone else at that map. All right. Let's talk to Vex and see if we can get any information about Bald. Stabbed in the back. Hi, lady. If I see him right, I'll pluck his eyes from his skull with my bare hands. You have info on Vald. That pig? Oh, I have info on him. More than you care to know. I want to get on his good side. Vald? Good side? I think you have the wrong person. The only thing Vald understands is gold. A man after my own heart. So buy him off? Sure, but he'll ask for a whole lot. I mean, you are asking him to betray Mercer Frey. Your best bet would be to erase his debt with Maven Blackbriar. If you talk to her, she might be able to give you the details. Of course, you could just run him through and take what you need off his corpse. I could care less. Hmm. Speak to Vex about Vald. Talk to Maven about Vald's debt. While you're in there, help yourself to anything in Frey's manner. I, would. I think that might be a good idea, because this guy sounds a little tough. I mean, if Mercer hired him to be a bodyguard, he's probably, like, a tank. Um, probably not someone I can just, you know, I damn just have to come take back. out with a hit. Especially with my sneak seal being what it is right now. I damn Mercer to come back here. He sets one foot in a cistern and I'll cut it off. Okay. So, we have a double objective here. One of them obviously being Mercer's house. Other is probably going to be where. Let's see. Mechanism. Shoot that thing. Under the thing and get at it. Nice. All right, cool. Ah! Ah! No, oh, he's pissed! Ah, oh, he's pissed! Help me! Ah, oh, self-defense! Self-defense! Help me! Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, ah! Oh, ah! Oh. Actually, yeah, that's a good idea, too. Serena can just murder him for me. What do I care? Serena's is basically invincible. <laughs> this guy's a punk. Who was I worried about? Thought it was gonna be way harder than that to kill. Um. Also, he opened the door for me. And sweet. Hmm. Fantastic. 
get in here. Okay. Well, you know what, guys? I think I'm going to stop it here. And next episode, we will investigate Mercer and tear apart his house. Sounds freaking awesome. I appreciate all of the watching that you guys are doing, and I'm glad that you guys didn't complain about me doing well videos that made me so happy. It made me freaking ecstatic. What in the hell was all that noise? Hey, we'll find out next time. Bye, guys.